got an E major seven, with an F sharp bass with us. That one, that one five six. And of course, it's in between. And the next page. Still the same chord, E major seven with F sharp bass with this. It's really a bass based on F sharp, but I make a one five six, one five six, one five six. If E major seven, F sharp becomes an F sharp seven by just moving one note. F sharp seven two six. <laughs> yeah, the bass line, and then I go to an E part, which is E. A crawl down of the E major seven, E major seven two, kind of basically the sixth, sixth, T H S, of inversion kind of rule. Got this one five six, one five six on the F sharp bass on the F sharp, but the E major seven with the F sharp bass. We're following off the F sharp because that's the bass note. So with the fifth off of that is C sharp, and then the sixth off of that is D sharp. And then we go down to the E, the E, the fifth of the E, and the sixth. It's one five six. It's the pattern in the bass. And then E flat minor seven, one flat. Um, it's it's a minor seven, six. It's sorry, minor six of E flat. But listen to it. But I'm putting that with a. A, a, a two and a minor seven on the top of E flat minor seven because a six is legal in a minor chord. Absolutely. So what do you have to do? Use it. On uh, um, E major seven down to the E flat minor seven. Wait a minute. Oh, I always say, I'm sorry. Here, bing, bing, bing. So as you can see here, as I go in then into the E flat minor seven. And then before I was in the E major seven, I was going up here, so I'm do 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 do, and the F sharp. Still the E major seven, F sharp bass. And then I go to an E major seven. Those crawls down on the six. If you look at there's a six built around the edge of those. See those six? And there's a good fifth and a third. And then watch this next one. It's a six. Why? It's an D flat with an E flat bass, right? So where where is that everywhere? So why not make break it apart? I'm talking about the guitar part here. Now I'm still doing the same thing. In the E part right here, I'm breaking the six, there's six. And the and the then to the E flat, um, E flat bass with another D flat. But it just it's just because of the inversion of going from here to here, it just even expanded more. It, so the the uh, the measure right before this, right here. Is where it starts, but I'm not going to put this measure here because I want to flip the page now. But it's an E major, it's an E major seven. Then it goes to this. Watch this E flat major. I mean D flat with an E flat bass. D flat with an E flat, e flat bass. But listen to the inversions of the like the six THS one working on the top. Now in the E major seven, six working on the top. Oh, sorry. Um. I'm, look at me in the in the in the, uh, in the E made in the E. I'm an E, and now in the E flat, I'm D flat with an E flat bass. D flat with an E flat bass. But where do I? I do I do not go to the fifth of the D flat. I go to the fifth of the E flat because E flat of, is of the bass note. It's an important rule. It's a weird rule. It's a bass note. It's a fraction bass note rule. 
you're building off the base note if you're building numbers in this case one five six um all right so uh i have um uh, the e, ma e major seven with after our bass and then into the d flat with with a um b e flat bass but it's just a half step away in the bass but i'm Following the one five six one five six five one five six two, it's just one five six. But I have a little backwards of just for the timing. Time is fifty percent. You got to fill it if you need to, and I did. I just went backwards in the same patterns each time, just do 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 do, to make the full time, and then back to the E twice and then E flat again here by, by this time I'm way up here in the inversions and then finally I have a nice E with an F sharp bass uh, but I'm going to um, uh, I'm sorry I have an E first before I have an F sharp I, E first here but now I'm watching, just going to crawl right up these one, and then I'm going to crawl just right up the uh, e1 um, well it takes two two parts to do this to watch can you see it uh, here oh uh, I better go to the next one uh, no it's um um now we're now, right there, we're at the actual end. Here it goes. Um, I, I have to play it in context here. Here's the E part. There's E flat bass with a D flat. Here we go. Right here in the bass. Do 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 do. You almost could just go with the whole keyboard. But as you're going from the E right here, the straight E, e it's, a, it's an E2, really straight E2, E2-6. Uh, as you're going from there to the, to the, an E2. It is an E2. It's, uh, it's a, okay, so we're getting get to the end of the chorus, and we're going... There we go. And then we're to the bridge. And again, what is a bridge? A bridge is sometimes needed, especially when you're in a song like this, in order to get back to the verse or wherever, even between the verse and the chorus, it's just something you gotta do to get there. And as I was talking a long time earlier, there is actually a chromatic chord off of the common tone B. If I move down chromatically to B, I'm going to have a note that I'm going to build on the common tone of B as discovered earlier in the song. I'm going to do it again. Let's review it again. First one is E with an F sharp bass because I have to start on F sharp. And the next one is a cool one. It's an F7 plus 9 plus 4 I always said that in between A sharp, G sharp. I know I was going to say that later, but it turns out it's now. So I'll just have it now. Um, uh, e major seven, two, with a B common tone, A sharp, G sharp. Look at this one. This is a really cool one. This is an E seven plus five. Okay, now these are happening here. First, E major seven, and it goes. And then there's that A sharp, G sharp, and then F7 plus nine. I know it does a lot of different things here. I'll show you what these are. And there's that E major seven. I got I got all kinds of great additions in there. Um, I can't see that far. <laughs> Here's a great one though. E flat, this is what I'm saying right. E flat seven plus five. Look at that, right? And then these turned into flats, even though they're uh, and harmonic with the 
Maybe an enharmonic. That's a really cool note. I love the word enharmonic. Enharmonic meaning the same note can be A sharp or B flat. That's enharmonic nicks. Enharmonic nicks. That's cool. And this is uh, uh, E major seven. Oh yeah, E flat seven plus nine. That's really cool. And then, and then D seven, D seven, two plus four six. Some notes are removed because I can't play them all, but I have a D in the bass. It's important. And then of course A sharp G, and then. Look at this one, D flat seven works perfectly. Here's C flat, it actually is what I call it, just B. And then what's another common tone is I remember I'm going starter and F sharp. F, E, D, and I had to build a chord. I found this, I found this, I found this, I found this. Now what's the next one? D flat, now what's the next one? C, oh that's E, it's a major seven. Put a two in there. And then what's the next one on B? Well, B could be B, but I happen to fraction it with an A bass, an A major seven, and a bass of the question mark type fraction chord, which I always love. One whole step up from the letter name of the right hand, and the left hand, making the one whole step note up. I love that. I love that chord, that type of fractioning. One whole step up from the letter name of the right hand chord. It's a rule. It'll work. That's it. Um, A major seven with B bass. And then I'm back to where I was. You can almost hear the familiarness of it. Yep. That was before in the verse. I mean, uh, yeah. And there it is. G sharp minor seven. But I'm going... And then I'm back to... But what, how do we get there? A flat, D seven, a D flat seven, a C major seven, an A major seven with a B bass. That's cool. But I just had a long and a measure for each of them before I went the A sharp, G sharp, or in harmonically B flat, A flat. So what did I do? I had to fill it, and I filled it by. Having the bass still do root and fifths, but all over the keyboard. Root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root fifth, fifth, root fifth, root fifth, root A major seven with the B bass. And then the little lead two. Uh, right at the end here. So, isn't that cool? The, the, uh, oh yeah, I have to go back one. Sorry. Hmm, here it is. See, see them? Ding, do, 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 do. And here, here's the E one. See, it's crossing over in the music. The left hand is way up high above even where this is. Fifth, root, fifth. See that? Isn't that cool? Now watch this crawl from the roof. Root, fifth, root, fifth, root. Hey, you want to know really something that's really cool? You see this little 64th rest there? That's because I didn't hit it on the downbeat exactly. <laughs> So the music software picked it up just slightly below the mini note software. It's really great about that. And it, because it does not quantize. I don't want anything to quantize. I want it me. You're seeing me. Well, I had to clean it up because I had to find the best of the best and, you know, uh, fix it. Copy paste into the, into the correct way I do it because I'd be sloppy here and not sloppy there. So I pick out all the non-sloppy pine and put it all together and copy paste and then get this. But sometimes I like to, like to keep a little of the... the uh, what do I want to say? That in it, uh, the humanness in it, the humanness in it, and here it is an example. I didn't hit it right in the downbeat, but I kept it anyways. Where I actually started on the root on the D, uh, fifth root fifth root fifth, you know, and then I'm under the D flat. But isn't that cool right there? I just left, and then usually it's on the downbeat. Look right back here, all of them are downbeat. See downbeat. There's a little 16 note rest because it has a or a quarter note rest because it's a habit of voicing things. 
like in choral. So it's voicing things like there's a tenor in there that's supposed to be singing, which is really cool. I've always liked that about the software too. Anyway, I would like then to go to the D. Uh, so I'm coming from, I'll go back a little bit here. So we got the E, E. And then the E flat right there. And then the D, which is really like the D7, 2 plus 4. But I left that little 60, 30 second rest in there. Sorry, 30 second rest in there. Because timing is everything. So look at that little kick. So the way these kick right ahead of right ahead of the beat all the time. I'm going to go back around. To, all right, to him, they kick right on the and of 4. 4 and. That's when the next chord comes in. See, here goes. Uh, yeah, um, and. And then this is a downbeat one. There's, they, they alternate. And then it doesn't. It Then it picks on the upbeat of four right there, the next chord. On the downbeat, on the C. Oh, 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 on this one, by the way, you don't go A sharp, G sharp. You go A, G because you're in C major seven and A sharp. G sharp are not legal sweet notes, they're illegals. So we make it G and A and G. That's where it, what, what key, what chord, excuse me, additional rules we are at this point. It's not A sharp, G sharp, it's A, G. The very last one, you know, all these are A sharp, G sharp, A. I'm talking about the in betweens here. Listen. A sharp, or, or B flat. Uh, a flat make it in a harmonic, but then in the C one I go A G, not A sharp G sharp. Here I'll sound that would sound no C A, and then I do not go down in the last one because it is the fraction question mark chord. So I don't go or this time in between those those in between chord notes. I just hang on it. And then, of course, we have this little familiar. And we're back to the beginning. Let's harmonize. Look at the top notes. It's up an octave instead of being down here. Right? It's the same thing, same bass line, just up an octave with some harmonies below it. I love those 30 second ones. They're great. Uh, and uh, so, anyway, so we're coming from. To the these little. They're kind of like roll chords. And. Uh, oh, and then the. Just like we had in the beginning. It's just that octave higher. It just is the same thing, just thing bigger. Four note, full, full note. And full, full octave, 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 octave of all the melody always constantly. So great. I just did a little play with the, with the G2. To the E minor, just a rolling across the keys of, of you know, just letting my fingers go, and then into the C. Look out! Look how much of a, a stretch. And then the D six. Sorry, it was a C six. Here, here's the D6 scene. And the G, C with the G. But just all broken chords. These are these are 30 second notes. All those 30 second notes. It's so cool. Just, it's really 
have just bra- a broken, just a, a fluttering out over the, of the G2, of the C2, all of the G bass. Until I finally reach a G. And then I hit at the very last chord a G minor 7 2 4. I like that. I, I was in a major. And no, it ends in a minor 7 2 chord with a nice little flutter at the end. It goes all the way to the top. Yeah. Yeah, so I want to comment. I want to comment. Let's try it again. I'm going to be playing all the downbeats of the 16th notes. Here's the G. 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 See that? E. E. D. C. C. D. C. Here comes the chromatic chord. Chromatic part. E flat major 7 over F bass. A minor 7, E flat, here's the F sharp bass, with root 5th in the bass, E major 7 to F7, E major 7 with F sharp bass, E major 7 coming now, E major 7, E flat minor 7, E major 7, E flat minor 7, E major 7 2 on all those nice sweet additions. E flat minor 7 4. E major 7 2. E flat minor 7 2. E. And then E major 7 2 with an F sharp bass. And then F7, F sharp 7. Playing different versions. Fill it in. Seven. Well, the, 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 e, sorry, this is really D flat with an E flat bass. And then E6, 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 six, e six two, F sharp. Here we go. Chromatic. E major 7. Plus 5. D7 plus 4. D flat 7. C major 7. 2. And the G2 all over the keyboard. E minor 7, 4. <laughs> C6. D6. G2. And you get ready. We're going to have a G. C. And G minor. 